Okay. Welcome everybody uh, to today's meetup hosted by Our Ladies NYC and collaborating with Our Ladies Rome. Today we'll be building a website in R and it'll be a hands-on tutorial and it'll be amazing and we'll learn a lot. Um, before we get started, I'm just going to go through a few quick announcements on the Our Ladies NYC side, and then I'll hand it over to Our Ladies Rome. Um, so just as a reminder, um, currently you are all muted, but once we get started with the tutorial, we'll let everybody unmute themselves as needed, and you can come off mute and ask questions. Um, although, raise your hand first if, if uh, you can, so that Frederica can finish speaking and then answer your question. Um, and just as a reminder, Our Ladies is, a dedic is dedicated to providing a harassment-free experience for everyone. Um, so hopefully you've all reviewed a code of conduct, but let's just be respectful and mindful of everybody. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, if your company is hiring, please do share your company and your role and how to learn more about the new position, either in the chat of this Zoom meeting, or you can uh, join our Slack and post in the jobs channel. Uh, if you're not a member of our NYC Slack, then you can email nyc at ourladies.org and we'll get you set up with that. Um, and Our Ladies NYC has a couple of events coming up this summer. More information about each event will be posted on Meetup in the future, but we do have our annual summer social, which is gonna be in July and that's in person. We'll, we'll also be doing something a little different. It'll be a hackathon of sorts, but also another opportunity to socialize and that's gonna be in August also in person. Um, and then we'll, we'll be holding our annual lightning talks in September and that will be fully virtual. And just a lightning talks are a great way to improve your presentation skills, um, you know, and to work on any material that you might be interested in working on. If they're very short presentations and uh, the applications are open to everybody, no matter what your experience level is with R. And those applications will open up in July as well. Uh, so that's everything that I had. I will stop sharing and I'll hand it over to our ladies bro. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here. My name is Rafaela and I'm going to introduce our chapter. Uh, Our Ladies Rome, as a local chapter of Our Ladies Global, are dedicated to promoting inclusivity in our language community. Our monthly meetings provide platform to discuss current trends and hot topics in R. Our Ladies Rome is a well-recognized community from January 2023 to June 2014. We have hosted 24 events with more than 160,000 RSVPs and reached 1K members on Meetup. Here you can see our growth. The founder of the chapter is Claudia Vitolo and co-founder of Our Ladies Global. The organizer of the chapters are Federica Gazzolani, hosted today, Silvana Costa and me. And uh, we are always open to new joiners. If you have interest, let us know by this link. And today workshops is led by Our Ladies Rome organizer Federica Gazzoloni. She's a statistician and actuary interested in machine learning application to health data. More about our, her ongoing projects and teaching experience can be found on her on her website, federicagazzoloni.com. So let's get started. Thank you, Rafaela. Thank you, Dorota. So welcome everyone. Um, this uh, today is gonna be an hands-on session. So uh, we are going to build up our new website or portfolio as you prefer. The, the the final destination of this website uh it's it's free for you so uh, before to get started uh i need to uh okay uh, tell you uh about what is going to happen so uh hopefully you all have r a studio or um, VS Code, so an environment where you can work and build this website. Um, 
if you have the latest version of R, uh, you should uh, have Quarto in, already uh, on, installed on your machine. Otherwise, uh, you can install it on Quarto.org. Uh, and then we see. Uh, also, uh, there is a um, um, section of this uh, part of this build up uh, of a website that is um, focused on um, storing uh, all our uh, codes um, and design of the website on GitHub. So GitHub is a um, version control, version saver environment. So it's a safe environment where you basically load all your scripts or your load uh, um, or your code uh, within a project. And then anytime you make a change, that change is recorded. So this uh, will make sure that everything uh, that you make uh, will be saved. And then if you need it, you can reverse it, go back and put everything um, as it was. Um, I like uh, to be interrupted in case you have questions um, or um, would like to know uh, how to do a customization. Uh, obviously, uh, okay, I didn't, uh, so as um, I'm not a website um, uh, expert, so I am naturally a statistician and everything, but uh, Dorota, you are sharing uh, something? No, um, I don't know what this is. Uh... Okay, so um, I am. Uh, what is going to happen here that uh, um, I'll show you how easy it is to build up your portfolio website and uh, to customize and set up a design of your choice. Okay, so having said that, let's get started. I'll uh, start sharing. Uh, if anything happened within the connection and everything, I apologize in advance. So I <laughs> will reconnect in case something happened. Okay, so I share my uh, entire screen. Okay. So here is my R. Uh, before, okay, what we do is um, having a look at Quarto, okay? Because we are building up a website in R with Quarto, okay? And here is the, the website, quarto.org. Uh, and there is, if you need to, uh, it's uh, just been released, the latest version of Quarto, the, just a couple of days ago. Uh, so uh, it's very straightforward in case you have an old version to download uh, the latest version um, of Quarto, which is a CLI, which is a common, common line interface um uh, environment so you act with quarto uh, um, on the terminal okay but there is also an R package which is called quarto and you can install that that is a wrap uh into quarto cli uh, and so that that uh, R package provides some function that you can use in uh, in the console, not in terminal. But for now, it's very straightforward. So we use a couple of functions, just like, such as um, render and publish, because then we are going to when we our we are happy with our website, we are going to publish it on Quarto Pub. And now I'm going to this is the third. So I've talked about. Quarto, so these are the tools that we need. Uh, Quarto, uh, Quarto Pub. Now here, um, 
now I'm logged in, I sign out. So PortoPub, uh, it's um, a server, a free server where you can uh, upload your uh, website for free. Uh, and uh, so it's absolutely uh, freely available to everyone uh, with its own uh, customized um, address. Obviously, if you want to personalize the address with your name and everything, uh, that, that would be uh, something else. And so the, uh, we have Quarto and um, we have GitHub. Okay, so GitHub. Federica, is... there's a question in the chat about uh, if you need to update the version of Quarto, uh, if that just means downloading and then installing the Quarto yeah. client. Yeah. Yeah, you you can just um, click uh, on the latest version and it, it will update to uh, uh, upon your uh, old version. So you don't need to do anything else than uh, clicking in here. It will save um, a package file. Then you click on the package file. Uh, that it save it on your desktop or download folder, and then it will install it automatically. But I'm not sure if it's uh, strictly a requirement uh, for this session, because you can even, if you haven't updated to the latest, latest version, it is absolutely fine. So if you have Porto working on your machine, should be okay. Uh, so the three tools are Quarto, Quarto Pub, and GitHub. Um, I like to, for a minute, stop sharing. And uh, can you put a green check um, if you have all three of these tools uh, and you are ready to go? Okay, if you're downloading Quarto, it's absolutely fine. So we, we keep talking for for uh, a couple of minutes. Uh, so I give you the time uh, to, to set up. But as you, Sophia said, if you're just watching for now, that is absolutely fine. Because um, afterwards, you will receive... Uh, we, First of all, it is a recorded session. So, um, okay, it is a recorded session. So you 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 can uh, watch the recording afterwards and below the recording, there would be all the materials and all the code and everything. So you can even watch today. And then if you want to uh, do it afterwards, you can do it with all the material stuff. GitHub is optional, uh, as we said, even in the description. So as well, I'm showing this uh, uh, very fast for you to have an idea of what, uh, how it can be useful and how to use it. But if you don't have it now, it's not, uh, nothing happened basically. Okay, you can set it up afterwards. Uh, I do, but I haven't connected R with GitHub. That's okay. So this is why um, it's easy. So you can use uh, use this package and setting up uh, your name and your email. But for now, this is a bit out of the scope because it can take time. So uh, it's just a version saver. So afterwards, you will receive all the um, description and documentation for uh, putting your website on GitHub. And then afterwards, anytime you make a change, 
anything will be saving there. How do you get, uh, yeah, how do you get the green check is, uh, yeah, in the React, uh, in there is a, in the bottom bar, the, there is a heart. So if you click on the, the things, there are some uh, options available. Uh, recording and materials will be posted on our YouTube channel. Uh, and also, Raffaella, if you can put the uh, address of our YouTube channel in the chat, please. Um, and also, Dorota will post uh, on Our Ladies Global YouTube channel, uh, and that will be uh, published on our social networks, such as Twitter, Mastodon, Blue Sky, LinkedIn, and so on. So uh, stay tuned. You make sure We make sure that you receive uh the link for the recording okay and also for those one who provided the email address we receive an email uh with everything okay yeah um i think it's um i'm going uh yeah okay so let's get started i'll share my screen again no Okay, so first, uh, one more um, housekeeping things. So these are the websites I have personally made. As I said, I'm not HTML expert or I'm, I don't do this uh, um, for work, okay? But I did, I, um, I did, those, I did those things for necessity. Okay, so this is my uh, website and I made it with Porto and this is one of the way of doing it. So you have known page uh, with an image and everything. You have some tabs in here that you can click and leads you to other pages and everything. So you can put whatever you like. You have an about section, you can put tabs as I did it here, for example. And then at the very bottom uh, of the website that you can find like some um, extra customization. So this is, a, there is a variety of options that you can use. This is another one, for example, uh, that I've made to, to uh, and as you can see, it's a, of different types, as a different home page, uh, and uh, the content inside is like uh, made of grids. And when you click inside, there are further grids and things. So it depends by the use that you're going to do. This is another one, for example, this is quite simple, straightforward, such as uh, an image, and then the tabs are on this side. And then finally, this is our Ladies Room uh, website. So as you can see, um, you can have, you can customize them a bit. There is much, much more. Uh, and um, to get started, we go on guide, porto.org. If we go on guide here, uh, there is the entire guide to make a website. Okay, but also there is a gallery where you can have a look at all those uh, data scientists, uh, researchers, and, you know, developers that have published uh, their website in here. So then you can, for example, click here, and this will lead you to the code. So you can uh, have a look at the code once you know how to do it. So let's go back to our guide and we start, you can even use R in case you don't, don't have one uh, with posit cloud, for example, .org. Uh, if you go on positcloud.org, you can use R for free without installing anything. Now posit uh, cloud, for example, if you go on posit cloud, you don't need to install 
anything at all. Uh, you just log in, sign up first. So this is my uh, this is my Posi Cloud, but you can uh, uh, just uh, sign up and log in, and you have are available. Okay, so now let's let's get started. Okay, this is R. Uh, what the first things that we do is um, create a new website, okay? And so we do new project and then new directory and then Porto website. Then um, he asked me for a name. I can see my web site you can call it whatever you like and then decide for a destination for now i'm going to put it here in talks then i also click this one create a git repository as i said because then uh anytime i make a change i want to make sure that i have a version control tool that will um uh, save my work in case I want to go back to a previous state, I can do it. So then we just click create a project for now. You can set it, you can set it up later. Nothing, uh, it does nothing at all. Uh, so this is our um, uh, website. Okay, this is what you start with and but uh, so as you can see here uh, in the files tab, we have a list of uh, files. We have a Quarto YAML and a Quarto, the Quarto YAML is basically the engine of your website. Here you can uh, basically put all the things that will affect the entire website. Okay, but then you have other pages and you can even customize these pages within this section which is a yaml section of the um, of the page uh, and so you can have a different design for some pages even if the entire you have uh, set some things for the entire website you can then customize single pages as you like. Okay. Um, you are in the chat so that they can't see your screen or the screen that you're referring to. Okay. Uh, I, I can see your screen though. I, I see you sharing your R Studio. Yes. Okay, Sophia can also see. I can also see. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you, everybody. Okay. Uh, yes, please uh, advise me everything is uh, any case something happened. Um, okay, so these are the, uh, the files that we, we got here. So um, as you can see, we have a YAML, as I said, uh, and also a Git in your. This is because I have created a Git repository. So we can talk about this later. Because any uh, things that you write in here uh, will not go to GitHub. So we talk this about this later. And um, then, so this is the index is um, your own page. This is your own page. And as I said, the YAML is the engine that any, any instruction that you put in the YAML will affect the entire website, while the index is your own page. Then you can add other pages, of course. Okay. So in here also find the name of the project. So the project file, so which is it's a container of all, all your things, and then a style CSS. 
because you can also uh, write things in here for customizing um, the uh, aspect of your uh, the the style of the of of your website, such as uh, the fonts uh, and uh, the colors and many other things. Then, what else uh, is important to to mention is that this tabs uh, up above here within these tabs there is a git tab which is now it is not activated neither connected to my github account for example because as you can see here the arrows down and up are not highlighted so you cannot use it so i still haven't connected my github uh, my website to GitHub, but I, I am connected with my GitHub. So uh, it's going to be straightforward. But we um, I, um, I will do this later. Okay. There we go. So this is, um, let's have a look uh, how it looks like as, as is. I do render, I click this arrow here, I do render. Now the output appear in the viewer. And so I can see that this is the website and I have a an home page and an about. I haven't talked about the about because I uh, just sipped away from my site. So it also uh, provide, um, so an home page, which is the index and the about when you uh, first create a website. So we go back to the viewer. So this is a um, basic uh, website. So we start making a bit of um, customization. How do we do? We go back, we don't know how to do it. Uh, we go back on Quarto website. And here um, there is the entire documentation. So we choose, we can choose between uh, three options, but for now we choose R and here it's all the things that we did it. And so this is the config file or the quarto YAML, the YAML, um, which is, as I said, is the engine and it comes as is. But then we, we like to change uh, some customization. So here there is more. So you can have a look at this page. Uh, and there are more customization and as well as this other one. So these three, I'm going to close these others because they are not important for now. Okay, so um, how do we want to start changing our website? First things, we look at the um, at the YAML. In case there is something in the chat. Um, no, you're good. I, I was just asking, you are, he can see, and he fixed it, he figured it out. Okay, okay. So um, the, the, how do we want to uh, set up our website? First things, uh, we look at, the, at our uh, engine, okay? And uh, uh, also a quick mention that we have rendered uh, our uh, website passing through the index and click at render. We also, could have done it, and this is something that we do uh, more than once with the terminal. And this is the common line interface part of uh, um, the um, uh, Quarto. So we use Quarto render. We used to do, uh, we use this uh, uh, syntax to render the website without clicking uh this arrow and this will render all the pages uh, uh, and everything so when you uh it enter the um website is rendered and as you can see now the this folder side is already created 
uh, because we rendered it from here, but it's now updated in case we have made other changes. And it explains that uh, the output has been created within the site in index HTML. And here you have your HTML. In fact, if you want to see in the web browser, this is your uh, website. Also, uh, you could also see by in the viewer by clicking this arrow here, and it will um, brought you um, to the browser to see the same things. Okay, so uh, let's go back uh, to our engine and uh, we like to, um, so this is our um, title. We like to have add some, some things. So we had a folder with posts uh, and inside we start uh, adding other folders such as projects, and uh, talks and um, uh, I don't know, other things such as papers. So um, inside, let's start with projects. Inside, we, we, it's good to have an index file. It's a quarto file, okay? For now, I'll just click this arrow because this way it will put the file just inside the location where I where I'm uh, in, at the moment, and um, I could even done it from here. But then uh, it will I will need to save it and specify the location where I want to be saved. But in that case, it would be slightly populated. In this case, it's empty. So we will need to build up our um, project um, on page. Okay, this will be our project on page. Uh, it is an index file and it is inside our projects folder. Then uh, what is going to happen here that you might want to have more uh, files inside here, okay? And these files will be project one. And so project one, I go to source for writing um, uh, my uh, project one title. And so, okay. So uh, now um, I can do the same things inside papers, inside talks and everything. But before doing that, I, I like to show you, I save everything uh, that um, here um, I, I, I can uh, like, um, where is the viewer of my website? Okay, let's see. This is the viewer. Okay, this is my website. Let's say that I want uh, in the, this is the nav bar, the, this top bar in here is the nav bar. Uh, and so on the left side of the nav bar, I have my home page. This is the hyperlink reference okay so the the engine will go searching for this file and the name on the tab will be home in fact if we go and have a look um at the website this is our home page also this one uh will bring you back to home page in fact if i go to about then i link to my website I go back to the home page. I go to about, and so this this is uh, something that we see what's gonna happen. We can make different customization in it. 
Okay, so this is our about, and as you can see, Dorota uh, uh, asked me this. Uh, there is nothing uh, such as text uh, reference, but we could even change the about uh, by adding um, an uh, uh, hyper reference here. Oops and a text below or above, it doesn't, um, we can call it differently, such as about me or something like that. And then we can also add our uh, projects, such as uh, we have a, a, a upper link ref and uh, uh, our project is inside, this is our main directory. So we need to um, address these things to the project section. And so this will be in posts. Um, and then projects. Okay. Um, and this is projects. And then we call this as a project. Okay, let's uh, save this uh, YAML and have a look at the viewer. Nothing changing in here. Let's render the index. No, oh, I cannot see it. Okay, so the projects, it's here and when I click in it, this is my the home page of the project, and there is nothing in there. Nothing showing on my viewer. Okay. Um, I don't know why. Uh, did you ever look at uh, these uh, gears here? It said pre preview in the viewer pane is clicked. And so, okay, let's have a look at uh, some uh, extra customization that we can do. Okay, so now we understand that maybe the about will be nice uh, to be put afterwards of the things. But as well, I can add a um, right side of my um, uh, of my navigation bar. In here, here it cannot be seen because it should be why anyway. Um, so here I can put things such as uh, my GitHub um the feeds and everything um let's i don't know how to do it so we we can go back uh to quarto and see that here for example is this uh we can add more uh and then there is uh more to 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 say for example i can add extra things and for example if i go to my website uh, if i go to my website okay um for example i can have a look at these things. And uh, for example, I can put uh, the icon of GitHub uh, and my GitHub, or I can put um, uh, this is uh, the Our Ladies Room GitHub, but obviously you can put yours or you can put Twitter. Uh, LinkedIn or whatever you think is uh, more appropriate. Uh, always save 
this and this should change but now we haven't uh, I think I, we close the, the page. So we do quarto render. And then another function is quarto preview. And so we can see that now we have a nice GitHub uh, link in here. Okay, and there is also a search um, option uh, that comes with it. Okay, so now uh, let's start customizing a bit. So we have uh, CSS style and things. This is uh, uh, something that we can do. Okay, this is um, uh, already done because I'm not on the right one. So this is my website. So this is uh, uh, something we, we don't know um, how to do it. So what we do is basically going to uh, web. Um, okay, uh, W3 web school. Uh, no, this one here, W3 schools, which is a, a website uh, entirely on uh, HML uh, customization, so CSS customization and everything. So here you have uh, uh, different types of things that you can use, and they are very simple, straightforward, such as, you know, you have this file uh, style CSS, and you are going just to grab these things, if we try ourselves, we see that this is uh, uh, with this code that we put in our file, this will be the output, okay? So we go back to here and we just copy this and put it in our styles CSS and save it, okay? You, as you can see, you see that it it, da, it says get. So he has, uh, as we have our website open on a web page on a browser, uh, this has changed uh, the customization of our website. Okay, but this is not all that we do because uh, Quarto also um, has a pre um i don't know how to do the things so uh how how can i do i go on quarto and click on the uh, land and search for theme and here uh there are uh some options and so for example i like to have a look at this is uh, for uh presentations so I'm not. Uh, Federico, someone told if you could show how you copied things from CS example. Sure. This is the uh, website which I put in the chat. Sorry about that, but I, I, I couldn't see the chat. <laughs> Okay, so you click in here and it will uh, uh, lead you to this page. And here you have different type of customization. I, I uh, just stopped on the first one, home. And then if you scroll down, you see the CSS example. So you just co uh, select, copy and paste, copy this and paste it on your style CSS which was empty, was like this, empty. You control V and you have this, then you save it and it gets it again. So if I change it to pink, for example, and save it, it gets it. And when I go back and see the output, now it's pink. Okay, so, what I was doing is searching for 
uh, HML team, and I think it's here. Okay, here, when you need something, you go on the lens, court.org, you go on the lens and type what you're searching. You have a scroll down and search for the things that you need. So the um, as we are writing HML, the theming are here and there are uh, um, provided uh, some options. So the one that we are using at the moment, let's go back to our um, project. As you can see, it's a format HML theme Cosmo. Okay, so I haven't talked that much about what's inside the YAML because you are building up step by step. There is something about the project and the type of project that can be a book, a presentation, a website and everything. Uh, then the type of project will be repeated here. And here it's all about what you want in your uh, to appear uh, in your website. And then there is a specification of the format. And then even the editor to see where you want that to appear, if in the viewer or directly into the browser. So now we have uh, this Team Cosmo that we can change it to another one. For example, we can change, and here there is a, a, a chance to change it within 25 different type of themes. If we click on this Boots Watch, it's open up a page for themes within CSS and everything. So they are customized and enough that you put the, the, the name of the theme uh, in lower cases, and it will uh, set up um, your website. For example, I like, I don't know, this slate type. Then I show you what's gonna what what's happened if I do slate and then save it. Now remember that I've also customized a few other things in here. Okay, so I go back uh, to our website, but as you can see, things change it. So now I have some customization, but not everything as was in this type of theme, because the CSS allows me to make a just uh, footer modification on a, a pre-made theme. Okay, so let's uh, uh, do more things. We have lots of tools and everything. Okay, let's go to, uh, for example, use uh, AI, okay? So we already said that we don't want to, to use AI that much, but if we use chat GPT, for example, and say, um, make a short introduction uh, for my new website, home page. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, um, okay. Um, sorry. I didn't mention that my website is all about data science and I am a statistician. Okay, and so this is a very short introduction. So I take this and put it in my home page. So I go on search, source, delete everything in here and just paste this. This is uh, welcome to my 
my website. Uh, and so it says few things. I can even add, I don't know, if I go to uh, edit and then emoji, I can add some arts. Okay. And so when I save this, let's see what's happened. It gets it. So we go back in here and this is my uh, on page. Okay. As you can see, uh, everything changed a bit because of the type of uh, things. My project section is still empty. The about me is still like this. And so we keep going forward. More things can be done, such as uh, another uh, interesting uh, things that we can, oops, do. This is not what I want. Is uh, we don't need that for now. Federica? Yes? Uh, I just wanted to uh, remind you that it's getting close to one hour. And I yeah. know some people may need to drop off. But we have this meeting for longer so we can keep going. Yeah. Uh, we can, um, like, a bit do things a bit faster. Uh, and uh, by using uh, something that is already made in here, just to show you what what is going to happen if we had other things. We can uh, add to our website a footer, for example, and this would be, uh, you need to look at the level where you put those things. So this is the nav bar, and this is everything that goes inside the nav bar. Uh, the page footer, for example, when we add it, it would be at the same level of the nav bar. So we do this and add a page footer. For example, and then save it. Okay. This is uh, just as the same as here, so need to be on this. Uh, um, uh, so just you need to do a tab uh, as is. So and now it should appear, but it is not appearing. Okay, so let's go back. So obviously it takes. Um, a bit of time. Where is it? Okay, this uh, can be. Um, where is it? So the left copyright. Ah, okay. Okay, as you can see now it's yellow and should work. So we render it again and we have the output in the viewer and go back in there. So now this is, uh, uh, and we have the, the footer. Okay, so now that you have, do you have any questions, other things? Basically, now we do a uh, we go a bit faster. Okay, let me stop sharing for a second. Okay, hope you are all uh, within the meaning of what uh, is working uh, and building up a website. Okay, what is gonna happen here? That seeing that we are reached uh, forty five minutes uh, of this session. Uh, thoughts on quarto pubs or netty fly, uh, netty fly. Our quarto pub is just interrupt a, a, a second to answer this question. Quarto pubs, you cannot customize your uh, address. It's free. You can have lots of things and publish for free uh, and everything. While if you want to like buy an address, you just quarto is built on netty fly. 
basically. Okay, but it's free. I, if, if you want to uh, buy a, a, the, the name of the website, I suggest you to go to Netify uh, and buy the name. And, and then instead of publishing on Quarto, you publish through Netify. So what I was saying now, I'm going a bit faster because now you have an idea of all the things that happen in, in, uh, in here. And uh, I'll show you uh, how we can further customize uh, a bit um, our website. Okay, so let's go back. Um, so now we have added a footer, uh, but our footer, as you can see, is only on one side. We can all uh, even put something else on the other side. And just to give you an idea, and this is uh, something very good that you can use, that this is on the left, but you can also put something on the right and even in the center. Okay, for example, here I've used those things. Okay, so I'm going to pass uh, these things, just check that everything is aligned correctly. And so, as you can see, I can use a little uh, bit of space in here. I can use left, center, and right. Same things I can do in the nav bar, left, right, and I can even add something in the center. And so, uh, in, in these three uh, things show you that you can do three different things. You can just write, you can, you can add links and um, so you can even put logos if you want. But for now, we do just this and let's have a look now. We have uh, other things in here. More that we can do is, uh, let me see what I did it here. For example, is adding a dark type of the theme. So if we add this, this is uh, this type of theme. Um, let's go back. So the theme, if we specify that can be light and dark, okay, just as is. Let always double check the position because when you check it and you see it's right, it's all good. So now this is a dark and see what's happened when I click uh, save. And now uh, an, um, a button appeared. If I click on this, my website changes completely to another one. So I use this to, when I go to Boots Watch, to um, see how different themes can be. For example, if I use quartz, okay, and I go here and I put quartz and save it. Oops. So now I have another website. So I use this to uh, decide, uh, compare, but then you can even uh, provide two different themes for, for your audience, if you think that they might prefer one uh, more than other, or just put the type light and dark, okay? So different things can be done. What else I like to show you here? Okay, I like to, uh, for example, change. Okay, this is um for uh, the code, and this is the table of contents. True. So when I add things and I specify the category, the table of contents with um, list. Uh, the things that I have highlighted. So let's say that I have some projects. 
so I go to here and I have some projects from another uh, another website and I wanted to put it on, on my website and everything. So I just take my files, okay, and move them to my new website. And I put it here. Then I need the images as well. And I move them uh, in my website projects. Okay, let's have a look at my index because for example, this is uh, something that I already done it. And uh, as you can see our, um, website, uh, our index uh, page was empty. So we had just a title. So I can add the description and then uh, the contents. I want to be appearing. So the listings, uh, I sort by the sending date that I, and I show you all these other things. So I also keep this and move it to my website. Okay, so yes. Okay, so now let's have a look at what's happened to our website if something changed within the projects. Okay something ch nothing changed basically because i haven't rendered uh my index file and this is uh interesting to see because few things uh are it uh, uh update automatically others such as um things written within um a project a quarto file need to be rendered each one uh, it doesn't um, release the update uh, automatically so we do quarto render and render these new files that i had in my uh, into another project and i want to put it uh, in my on my website so we do quarto preview and have, this is our website. If we do, we go on projects. We go on projects. Okay. Now things change it. Okay. I have my two projects inside. How I did this i did that by uh if we go on project index because this is our home this is the home page of our project section so i always uh there is something in the chat could you show how you copy these things okay this is done do all new pages need to go in post? No, you can add. Um, I I, I meant I, I said posts uh, for a convention, but you can uh, make other folders with other names. Uh, the important things is that when you you go in your quarto uh, YAML, as you can see here. Uh, I call it posts and so link it to a project folder, but you we can even uh, add another folder called, uh, I don't know, suggest me something um, such as, uh, I don't know, video, uh, videos, and we have a, a new uh, folder here. And enough is that we just repeat this. 
okay this is the best way to do the things and you do just video and then in videos you have an index i said an index but because this is uh, for you to um, remember that this is your home page so for example just as this and uh, the video uh, tab will appear on your there you go um nav bar okay so if you have any other uh, questions i think it's a um, good time to start asking me questions uh as i said um we were on projects index okay this is our home page and this is our projects home page now before we had just a title so we add a description and then we list listing the content and inside posts and projects we have projects one and project two so we can do this when you have many uh, projects and you don't want to list all of them um you can just uh list the content of a folder so you put all the project inside another folder and you just link to the folder and it will read all the content inside we put categories through this is something that uh requires a bit of talk so we we will see you you find information on on porto.org also here there is a, a customization page layout and the title block banner and so if we put for example these two false and save it our project section hasn't got the bar appearing anymore okay i think it's um uh something in the chat does the on page file always need to be called index no this is not the case it's for you to um as i said the the main on page need to be called index this one here this index here has to be an index Because any website uh, have an index.html. If I go inside the site, this is when you publish the website, uh, the server will go and search for this file, search for the index.html file, because this file contains the entire website once it's compiled. So, this one has to be called index. The one in, inside the folders can, can be changed, but uh, you do you call it index for you to have um, a reminder that it is the home page of that section. Okay, thank you. Do you have any questions or something in particular you uh, you want to know? So let's put this in the, in the meantime, I go forward. So please interrupt me. Uh, it's now an hour. Uh, that's, uh, but um, so what's happened here is that um, it will read your projects in Quarto. So you have made an article, you have made whatever you like. For example, this is a predictive analytics for healthcare. Then this is always, this is your project one. You always have a YAML, go and search. Uh, you can put the categories and those categories 
appears here. Also, you have the categories for each project in here appearing. When you go inside your project, okay, I go inside the project. I don't go inside the project. Okay, let me see. So I can do render on save. Anytime I make a change and save it, it render uh, all the content. And uh, so now we will see how, how it looks like. But one more thing is that you can put an image. This image is not the image of your article. Okay, as you can see, now it's open. I'm inside project one. I don't have the image. As you can see the, the, I don't have the image, but I have the image on the home page. So this one here is basically to, um, to have an image on the home page. A further uh, customization, which is nice to have, is uh, um, so as we see, this is happen because of our uh, team type of team. So as you can see, you have the background of the code very dark. So you can change this by adding different color. And um, also, there is something in the chat. Can you make it so that the individual project page are available in the navigation bar? Sure, I can uh, just, uh, for example, I have another project. Um, let's say, uh, I have this uh, talk project. And um, maybe this is not because I have this, oops, sorry, papers. Okay, I have this papers and I move this uh, to my website. And now I don't, um, I can't even put it, what, what do you want inside the post or just outside? So imagine that you have uh, inside the post and, and you put it here. Okay. So, because, yes. Okay. Then you, uh, what do you do here is like, let's go here and do href. And this was in posts and called um, papers. One dot QMD, and then uh, this call it my papers. Let's go back to my website in posts and I have paper one, not papers, paper one. Okay, let's save it. Something bad happened. Uh, QMD is like MD. You can insert code chunk and have as execute. Uh, Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um let me see what's happening in here. So okay. Now I have my papers. When I click in it, he doesn't find it. You have a spelling mistake in the YAML. In the YAML? For the href, yeah. Yeah. 
uh, you put uh, posts slash P A P A E R one, but I think it's just yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. So now, let me see. No. Okay. So let's stop it and do it again to render. Because it has to be rendered. And now preview. Okay, let's go on paper. And now this is um, my paper in here. Okay, so one more thing that I wanted to, to show you is that uh, nice things that you can add. Uh, is this one here. Okay, so even this and that. Okay, you can add your site once you uh, publish it and you have an address, then you can add your site, you can add your GitHub and everything. Um, also, you can add the little icon on top of the, um, the web browser and also one um, interesting thing is this one. Okay, if I copy this and put it here. Okay, and now I'm going to take my image folder and move it to my website and put it there. So inside my image, I can create uh, an image folder where I have a profile picture and everything. And so when I save this, okay. So, and and preview. Now, as you can see, it's my profile, profile picture here. And also, uh, can you see the tab? There is this little icon here in the tab. And each page of my website has this, uh, my image on a side. Okay, videos is empty. And even on paper, okay, so this I'm missing a few things. Okay, so then ah, we didn't set up the about section, which is nice. So we can go back and set up the about section very, uh, call it about me very easily and say that, uh, Okay, this is where I tell about myself. And also, no, um, I like to put this, um, um, theme, um, they can, I can specify the type of team inside my, about, okay, this is my about section. And uh, let me see, go back to here and see. Uh -uh. Uh, it's still a type of team, but it is for, um, let's, let's go back in here. As you can see, there are type of uh, 
themes in here that you can choose with an image or this one here, for example. So let's go back, let's go here and have a look at the, not the Quarto YAML, but uh, the index, which is the home page. As you can see, there is a, an about template, which is uh, this one here. And so I can add and my about this. And when I click say, uh, don't have the image in it because then we'd be duplicating uh, the, the profile, but I will add the image. And save it. So this is my website. So now it's about me. We have to um, to uh, profile pictures. Obviously, here you can put something else, like your logo. We can put like our ladies Rome logo uh, in there, just to give you an idea. Okay, of the, the things such as and in the talks, I have the Our Ladies Room logo. So I copy to uh, my website images and save it here. Go back to my website. Uh, and uh, this the I copy the name and put that in this side, PNG. So my, my chapter. Oh, okay, let's, let's do that. Okay, so now things change it. And here I can put things about myself. Uh, I can use AI and say, describe me a bit as I am a uh, said statistician uh, working on health uh, data. Uh, okay, even if it's wrong, it's um, just to have some uh, things uh, to put in there. Uh, Federica, before you put the text in, there's a question. How did you quickly add all that text? Was it a shortcut? And I'm not sure which text. Which text? Can, can, uh, can they unmute themselves? Yes, you should be able to unmute yourselves. Yeah, just that you added about myself and... Um, I forgot if you just scroll up, you just added something to change the profile picture. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so uh, um, uh, do you mean in here? And there was something sub, like there were two pictures, two images in that yes. side. Yeah, this one, the margin header. And it was like, it just appeared suddenly. So had you copy and pasted it? Or is there a shortcut to add kind of the structure so that then you can go and change it? Do you mean the, the, this logo? Yeah, I, but, yeah, when you added it to the YML file. Okay. The uh, code that you added, you were, kind of it suddenly appeared without you typing anything. That's what it seemed like. Yeah, okay. the margin header colon and you change something to make it my chapter. But how did all that code just appear? Ah, okay. Like you do a copy and paste or is there a shortcut to say add margin header and then is there some default that gets added? No, uh, it's just that maybe I did it too fast. Um, this is the uh, a new image right that i have added in the folder and i've taken it from uh, another from from another project okay and then 
basically, if I go back, if I do command Z, I go back on the steps that I did it. Okay. So there we go. It's uh, here. Yeah, a little one step before because from me, from when I was looking at it, you had that favicon, that line, and then suddenly these two lines appeared, margin header and my profile picture. Okay. So was it a copy? Uh, margin, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that because I didn't, uh, I couldn't hear you properly. So you're right. I go back now and put everything as it was. Okay, yes. Um, this is our YAML, no? Okay, what I added was the favicon, this one here, to uh, what does this? Is basically uh, adding this icon on the top of the web browser. Can you see? Yes, yes. I mean, oh. I got that, but what I'm asking is like when you were typing, Mm -hmm. Suddenly, the next two lines appeared margin header with the My Chapter and Our Ladies logo, right? Okay. When you're typing it in this YML file, uh -huh. it suddenly appeared. Okay. So, I want to know whether, like, is there a shortcut to add these, like, uh, I don't know, to call it tags, like margin header with this? Uh -huh. Or no, did you no. copy and paste it? Yeah, no, no, no. Um, this one are, uh, this I added, oh, that's absolutely, uh, so I just, uh, uh, added, um, uh, together. Okay. So, but then I changed it because this was a profile picture. Now it's a, a logo, uh, because, um, we had the same image here. Yeah. And so, uh, this margin header. It's an option that allows you to uh, add an image on the le uh, right bar of your website in on each pages. If you oops, uh, if you put it in the YAML, okay, and you add this slash. Mm -hmm. Why, if you don't put it here, let's say uh, take this off. Okay, we don't have that anymore yes. in any of the pages, but I just want this to be appearing in one uh, page, such as my about, let's say, as it was before. So I can add this in here, but I need to make sure that e the image is within the directory of my about my my file in this case the about uh, is in the same directory of the folder images where the image uh, my logo is so it will work fine but if you are doing this within a folder you need to have the image inside the folder okay so let's thank have a you. look yeah thank you oops now it's over Okay. Where is it? My website. This is the old one. Okay. So now it's appeared here, but I want to see it in the browser. I can do quarto preview or click in here. So as you can see now, the logo it's only on this page and not anymore on the other pages. Okay, and I can have different ones. For example, in my blog, uh, something that I just posted today, I have added this one and it is not on the other ones. While I have an image here that appears on my home page, of this project, which is different. When I click in it, it doesn't appear the image. And so this, um, this happen when you add this image and the margin header. So they are, they can be 
two images or different. But in this case, when you have the about section and you can add the about section in any pages, not only on the about, so you can have even another page with the this uh, in the YAML, the image will be within the page. Okay, so it's a it's something that when you put your get get start working with it, are uh, all things that um will be you know um easily discoverable. Okay, you go on quarto.org, type the things, and everything uh, should appear. So, can you make it so that individual project is already on that bar? Are there any other questions? Was that a video? Okay, we can even, yes, that, that was a video. We can even add uh, a video. We can add everything uh, inside. For example, if I go to um, this folder, this is another project, okay? But just think about that it's the same thing. Okay, that's not to make a confusion, okay? Just you you find everything uh, set up uh, uh, on a GitHub repository with all the explain afterwards. But for now, just have a look at this one because for the sake of time, we, we cannot do everything. So let's say I have this uh, talk um, article settled. Uh, I can add the video in here, for example, from YouTube, and uh, you can uh, just have a look at the website. This would be a website. Let's go back. Porto Pub. This is mine. Look it up. Okay. Okay, that doesn't matter. I I have the uh the website in here. So let's go and have a look at this website. So this is what can be at the end and you received everything. Um uh, this is how I made this website and here is a talk section with some videos, as you can see. Now, if I click inside, I go on the article and there is a video. There's a question in the chat. Can you explain how you did the animation in the navigation bar? It was in one of your websites. Yes. This uh, is something that some uh, other um, from the our ladies help me doing it. So it is not, uh, I, I was like fascinated about doing those things. And so, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to, oops, sorry. Um, okay. So I was very fascinated about it and I didn't know how to do it. And it is, I would say, sort of be complicated. Let's close all the other things for now and just focus on this. So this is my own page. Okay. Uh, this is my website. Where is it? Sorry about that. Okay. This is my website. Okay, as you can see, I've used that uh, about style of page. And the, this is the, the bar. So when you go 
I want to add these things. The title, it's a HTML uh, language. So you need to specify the title is a multi multiple strings type of title and you do that. And this is one step. This is not done. So then what you do, it's basically add within the format HTML, something that says, including header, a text, and you need to add these things. And then it's not done. There is an HTML things in here, which will grab uh, this multi-string things, which says, welcome to my blog, comma, here you find blah, 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 comma, stay tuned for blah, blah, blah. And then you say speed 50, loop and everything. So I would just, uh, it's not, um, it must be, there is not yet a customization in Quarto, but it will be soon. So thankfully to <laughs> uh, my friends who helped me doing it. So Federica, I think we only have about 20 minutes left before the meeting closes. Could you show how to publish maybe? Yes. Uh, okay. So now imagine that you have your website. Let's go back to our website. Now I'm not in Quarto anymore. Okay. No, why is this? Why is not? Uh... It's not, um, let me in. Okay, forget. No, there, there is not uh, not it, it is not a big issue because we what we do is basically closing this uh Chrome and open up a new one with our ladies room which we have a quarto pub, log it in. Okay, I'll, I'll work that out later. And so let's go back to uh, my website and have a look at how it looks like. We are in my website. And what we do in terminal, it says, Quarto preview. And this is our website. Okay, so I want to publish this website in my Quarto pub. What I do is now doing Quarto publish. And it Quarto publish. And then it says uh, th there are various options. You say Quarto pub. And then what is the email? In this case, we use our ladies' room. 
and say my site, my website. And so it's basically publishing uh, the website. And now you have everything uh, stored on GitHub and you might want to connect and there it is. This is uh, the website which is published. Okay. Um, so so if, if at the end you could share any other tips too that you have found useful to create. Some... Yes, another um, one more thing that is very, very interesting is this. And I also like to uh, to share it with you, uh, which uh, um, is a nice website where you can uh, um, basically, as you can see, this this one. Okay, this is a website. Um, I put in the chat. Okay, let's first have a look here. Okay, so this is image IX. Okay, there are lots of uh, images that you can um, look at. Okay, for example, um, let's have a look at this. image. So this is one of the images uh, that are in there. And so you can uh, um, like search for more within that index. And then because it, it's important that as uh, it's good to have a URL, so you don't have the image that might be very big or with a good, very good resolution that might take space within your uh, project. So you don't have it, you don't store it in uh, in your um, project, but it is online. And so you can, uh, uh, with this style, have a background uh, for your own page uh, and with specifying no repeat, as, it, as for this one here. That was, you see, this is the, the image and it's below, and this is no repeat. So it ends. Are you there, Federico? Can anyone else hear me? Okay, so I think Federica's connection is gone. Yeah, she just left. Okay, yes, thank you for, for everyone for coming. Um, I think we can probably stop here. I apologize that it went over, but thank you for staying. And we will share the recording afterwards. Oh, she's back. Great. Uh, let's see if I can mute you. She's still a co-host. Okay, you're muted, Federica. I'm muted. I'm sorry about that. So I'll put everything uh, in the um, in a GitHub repo uh, and um, with a blog post and with the recording and everything. So you have all the information for um, answer your questions. Obviously, you need to uh, keep doing it, uh, practice a bit, uh, changing uh, thing, things as you like, and then if you have you know like uh, an eye for design um matching colors uh object uh, and do a nice structure uh it would it's gonna be 
uh, going to be a very good job. Thank you, everybody. Um, Thank you. Oh, there's one more question. How would you publish using GitHub? Is it easy to do or figure out? Yes, yes, it is easy to do, uh, easy to figure it out. I was about to answer these questions and it's with, within GitHub pages. It is an option that you, uh, as, as you have seen, there was Quarto Pub uh, and GitHub. So if you click on GitHub, then uh, it will be creating a branch uh, called GH uh, pages. Uh, and this branch will post automatically um, directly into the repository that you have connected because we haven't connected our repository yet. So this is something that we need to do. But um, molte grazie, molte grazie per aver partecipato. Grazie a tutti. So alla fine, at the end of this, uh, uh, this workshop, uh, when we post the recording, we also provide um, the, the, the guidance for connecting uh, the GitHub. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, start on local, uh, yes. Um, I recommend uh, creating a GitHub repository first with a redeem and then create a new um, project based on GitHub. But you can do the other way around, which is also absolutely fine. You just do git init and uh, it will co be connecting your repository. Uh, also on GitHub, there is a uh, few lines of code that you just copy and paste on your terminal. So I will prepare a blog post uh, with all the description so then you can eventually uh, set up your GitHub as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Federico. It was wonderful. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope that is.